there are places where the private sector has made enormous progress, I think, in, in terms of recognizing and acting on uh, what they, uh, a sense of social responsibility, and, uh, uh, and not because it's necessarily right to do, but because it's good business. You know, I think we keep making this distinction as if somehow doing what's right for society is at odds uh, with, with what good business is. But I think, you know, most companies say they're market driven. And I think by this point, it's obvious what the market wants. People care about uh, uh, the corporate citizenship of, of companies in the private sector. And, and you defy them, you know, at your peril. We didn't transform Burberry the traditional way. Um, we did it through the people. And, um, and we did it even long before I took the job at the company. We sat down and said, what did we want our legacy to be? Um, how were we going through the next generation, through the people, um, not just create a great brand, but create a great company? We did it for suppliers, for partners, for employees to unite everyone behind doing one or two really big things. You know, we didn't start, we didn't focus on cost initially. We didn't focus on, we focused on putting together very service oriented programs. And I told the team when I started, I'm there to serve you. I'm here to serve the brand. We say that the foundation is the foundation of the business. It is intuitive, it is innate, it, it's not, oh, by the way, we have a foundation. It is the greatest uniter connector that we have for 8,500 associates around the world. And, you know, absenteeism is down 80%, turnover is down 80%, and there's a lot of other benefit programs, et cetera. But we've used this as really the soul, the heart of the company. Mm -hmm. I think transparency, again, doesn't give full thought to, I mean, it's not a question so much of transparency as uh, doing something that's significant for the community that people can understand. I think the biggest problem, the biggest barrier I see in, in working with companies is the ability to conceptualize uh, what you're doing in a way that people can understand and that you can you can capture the sense. I mean, people like to say these days that a, that a brand is uh, uh, more about what you stand for than what you sell. It is just a natural, intuitive part of, of, of everything that the company does. It's interwoven into, into creating a great brand and creating a great company. So I think when you are transparent, when you have nothing to hide, and we monitor, we do a tremendous amount socially, we monitor everything that's said about the company on Twitter or on Facebook, et cetera. But we're talking, talking, talking openly to 11 and a half million fans on Facebook. You know, we're, we're taking them on the journey with us. So, so we're not being asked for more. Mm -hmm. I will tell you a fascinating fact is six years in the job, I have never once been asked by an investor about our programs.